Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live, and I apologize that we do not have video feed. We keep having technical difficulties with OBS on that. Sometimes the video feed is working, and sometimes it's just not. I don't know why. But at any rate, I don't want to waste time on that issue here. I want to get right into this uh, broadcast here. Of course, the title, Cyber so Soldier um, in Demonic Possession. I had a very interesting discuss, discussion uh, recently uh, with some friends up there in D.C., and we were discussing the issue of cyber cyborg soldiers or AI soldiers, the implementation, when they're coming on the field, the fact that there is no oversight uh, in the AI industry there. And I wanted to share with you from that meeting there some very disturbing things that were shared with me. And... Um, and, and also the time frame when they're looking at rolling these um, soldiers out. There are articles out there, just like you see in the title here. The U.S. military will have more robots than humans by 2025. Uh, sometimes that seems to be a little bit premature when you're looking at that as far as the time frame. I mean, that article there, uh, let's see, when was it written? Uh, back in 2018, February 19th, 2018. Uh, when it was written, but I can tell you right now, England in seven years is going to have their police totally replaced by cyborg soldiers. Uh, that's the goal. We know that Dr. Watson is another program that's supposed to roll out. That'll be the 2030 agenda. Uh, so, you know, just keep in mind, and we're not going to go into details because there's certain things we just can't really get into, but as people... Uh, make a stand for liberty, maybe that's the best way to put it, and they are willing to forsake their jobs in order to make their stand be known, uh, it may uh, initially look like it's crippling the infrastructure, but they already have the plans for your replacement. And not only will the military be replaced, but also uh, every other profession that you can imagine. So, those entities that are controlling the narrative of what's coming, that plan on uh, our, our demise, these alien fallen angels, demonic beings, they've got some pretty nasty things in store for humanity. So anyway, let's get right into this. Um, this is some of the things that was shared with me recently. So we have, been, we have made so much advancement that we don't need human soldiers. The advancements are nothing short of amazing. The resulting product of the AI and cyborg robots are far more efficient than any human soldier. They shoot more accurately. Uh, they are nearly indestructible. There is just no way a human soldier can compare or even uh, st you know, uh, stand up against them in combat. Uh, their situation awareness is far more superior than human humans. Uh, analyzing the issues in milliseconds as compared to what it would take more seconds for us to analyze a threat and deal with it. Uh, they eliminate threats with precision. And if the threat is assessed as deadly, they will use deadly force to eliminate that threat. If the situation is determined to be non-life threatening, then they will wound that subject in the leg with, with, with their weapons. Um, and I was told too that, you know, th their capabilities of shooting is 100% pinpoint accurate. If you are a fatal threat within a millisecond, the bullet will already be in your heart. That's how fast they will react to those things there. Um, so the ability to determine uh, the target and the civil, uh, whether it's civilian or soldier, uh, threat or friendly is uh, done so far more accurately than humans. Now, that doesn't always work out in every case, and I'm going to get into that in just a moment here uh, in one scenario that was done by the, uh, the military uh, with these, uh, these soldiers, but we'll go into that in just a little bit. Let me continue on in my notes here. So, the government has had some very serious anomalies, uh, so much so that the... That, um, the government has been assessing the risk of these latest anomalies. But sadly, 
there's no oversight on the AI program. And even Elon Musk has been warning of the danger of the lack of oversight. Uh, Elon is, you know, the, the Pentagon has entertained him on many occasions and because of, you know, who he is and they'll listen. But what he says just falls on deaf ears. They don't want an oversight. They don't want someone coming in there and pointing out a flaw in the program being shut down for any length of time. You know, th th that's where the problem comes in. So we'll continue on with the notes here. Someone witnesses, if someone witnesses an anomaly, um, there is no one to say, let's, put, pull, let's pull the plug. Houston, we have a problem. In the AI soldier program, the anomalies haven't really been dangerous thus far, but because it is an anomaly, the potential for it to become dangerous should warrant an oversight committee, committee to, to, to protect and assess and uh, evaluate what's going on and to look at these oddities that have been that have actually been witnessed that, that are being seen uh, in the wing of the military defense of the Pentagon of what's going on. Now of course I haven't disclosed those anomalies as of yet so uh, let's get let's uh, let's get right to it. Remember or the one thing I want to kind of bring to your attention if you guys remember there is that movie with Will Smith, I Robot. And uh, I don't know if they'll let you play that clip and get away with it, but we'll try. Uh, you know, we, when Will runs in here, he's going through all these robots. And, of course, I was told, you know, and you'll see in a minute what our robots kind of look like. Uh, they're not as refined as what they say in here. But he comes in here, and he's looking because he's got a situation of an anomaly. Uh, they've got a robot that is pretty much thinking on its own. And in the movie here, he, he's going to try to assess that threat, going to try to deal with it. And so what he does is he first starts off by, well, I actually don't have the right one there, but uh, uh, the clip that I was looking for, but he actually shoots one of the robots, then he goes to shoot a second one, and then suddenly the robot, his little head pops out, and then he takes off running and tries to flee and escape. All right, so this is a similar situation that, um, that we've been having in the anomalies uh, in uh, the Pentagon with our own AI program. And uh, what, what took place that they have been seeing is that in the middle of the night, some of the units are powering up on their own. That's pretty wild. They power up on their own. And not only are they powering up on their own, but they have also, uh, are they are speaking between themselves in a language that we are not aware of. The prevailing thought is that these robots have developed some sort of machine language. And the consensus of the group uh, in the AI robotic military wing there has figured out that they figured out that human language is too slow and too insufficient, much like what the aliens are. You know, the aliens also feel the same way about us, uh, although they will use telepathic ways. They speak to us and, you know, and it's done in our language or even verbally they can speak in our language in some cases. But... For the most part, when aliens communicate with one another, it's much faster. Their language is much, much faster. They consider our language very slow, very primitive. And the, the scientists that are working on the project in the AI military wing of the Pentagon there, they feel like that these robots have decided that our language is just far too cumbersome. It's not efficient. And so they have developed their own way of communicating between themselves. And one of the things that was said to me is that, um, let me get back to my notes right here, that, that um, they noted, however, that the language used is very similar to languages spoken by people that the Catholic Church has certified as people that are possessed. It's similar to the, to the Latin language, but 
like a scrambled version of it. And we've just not had any way to be able to figure out what they're saying. Um, they're concerned that the closer we make these uh, <clears throat> automatons human-like, the more attractive our robotic soldiers may become to demonic possession. I mean, think of that. You're, you're talking about government scientists, people that most of the time are not believers, but they realize they're powering up on their own <clears throat> and something is not normal. Uh, I was told by the insider that, that I speak with on this that um, he's, he actually referred to me. So there's a lot of evidence <clears throat> out there that when they talk about demonic possession, you're, you're just dealing with another type of entity or, or demon that's more of a spiritual nature doesn't necessarily have a body like a reptilian or, 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 or a Nordic or Venetian or something of that nature there. So they're looking for some kind of body to actually be able to function in. And they're actually worried about those types of entities entering into these robotic soldiers. Um, you know, so as I mentioned, Elon Musk has pushed for the oversight and the AI, but his Warnings have fallen on deaf ears. Everyone will, will listen, but, but just ignores him. His premise is that humans, uh, we are limited in our own ca uh, capacities and make mistakes. And he believes it won't be long before the AI realizes this and decides that we are the problem. So he, sta so he started, uh, stated, uh, excuse me. So he stated by giving an example of what the field trial that happened with the AI soldier, uh, where where what what had happened? They took they took one of they took one of the units by itself, and they put them in a scenario kind of like the Bin Laden compound. They had uh, uh, multiple hostages. They had a, quite a few. Uh, hostile terrorists that were there holding these hostages and they sent in a team of Navy SEALs to see how fast they could react and free the hostages uh, and see, you know, compared to that to the one AI soldier they sent in. Now the AI soldier was actually faster, more efficient and eliminated the threat, saved the hostages flawlessly with the exception of one problem. The one problem was he also took out all the Navy SEALs as well. Now, this was not a live fire exercise, so they didn't actually die, but they were all terminated because they had weapons. So they're trying to figure out a way to get the, the robot to distinguish between friend and foe, and that regards there. So that's what they're working on now. Uh, so that was another issue they have. But, it, but uh, then came the situation... Um, that uh, my own friend said, imagine what would happen, his premise on this. He said, if these demonic entities could get a hold, if we're actually using these soldiers out on a battlefield and we have them out in large numbers, he said, imagine what would happen if they are able to be possessed of these demons. And he said, our scientists are already fearing this is what's happening now. Now, they don't look at it as demonic beings. They look at it as some sort of energy because they can measure it. They actually have the ability to measure the, this, this spiritual entity that's coming in, that's taking over these machines. And that's what they are concluding is happening to the ones that are just going powering up on their own and actually able to work. And so I shared with... Uh, the friend that I have up there, one of the things that I brought up to him was the interview that Yana had done with Harold Calcevilla uh, when they were talking about Morgellons and black goo and thing, black goo, things like that. And Harold, in that interview in 2017, when he spoke about black goo, he said black goo is <clears throat> alien AI 
quantum computing and reptilian. And so my suggestion was, uh, if you also take that in comparison to Johann Fritz, the interview that he did, the super soldier that uh, uh, gives a narrative of working with all kinds of entities in a secret program, but he also mentioned black goo, and he talked about how that that had been used to target the earth, to infect the earth with a demonic entity on this earth. And he, with, it, with the exception of the word reptilian, he also called it AI, quantum computing, an alien. So I suggested whether it's, depending on whatever kind of entity it is, doesn't really matter. But I said, if the fact is they've infected the earth with the black goo, you know, and we see scientists saying, that these things are quantum computing, well, then they have the ability easily to take over a robot soldier. Think about it. And then, of course, I was told that uh, that the that England has already pre-ordered a half million of these robotic soldiers, and that they are going to employ them and replace all the police that the English government is using with these robotic soldiers. And of course, their theory is that because they are a weaponless society, they don't have to worry about them not taking out someone that is considered a threat. Because if you have a weapon in England's laws, you are a threat. No wonder why they want the whole world to be disarmed. And they'll have all these soldiers replacing everyone in every body in every sphere. And it only makes more sense. Why? Because when it comes to these fallen angels, they're not interested in dying for anything. I have a feeling they're putting them all in place to eliminate us as the threat. And it should be alarming. As I said, even the medical field will be replaced in the not so distant future. You won't be visiting your doctor and asking his advice. It'll all be done remotely. This is Satan's Eden. This is where we're headed. Unless the people ever make a stand. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're listening to Israeli News Live here on Patreon. Don't forget to, uh, I, some of the things I keep hearing in the background, I'm not sharing it right now on, on this broadcast there, but uh, I know when I did the broadcast with uh, uh, Bonnie Harvey over on uh, Hebrew Nation, her the program she's on there, she was mentioning the EMP strikes to take out our power grid is one of her thoughts there. So don't forget about the MP Shield and your coupon code INL50 that will give you that discount. Uh, I don't know where we're headed, friends, really don't. But anyway, thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live.